dear friend welcome to the lecture series in microprocessors and microcontrollers in today's video lecture we are going to learn about the assembler directives of 8086 microprocessor and we concentrate on what actually an assembler is what is an assembler directive and what are the various assembler directives that are there with 8086 microprocessor with some examples coming to assembler assembler is a program that accepts the assembly language program and converts into machine code or binary language assembler directives assembler directives are the instructions used by the assembler at the time of assembling a source program more specifically assembler directives are the commands or instructions that control the operation of the assembler assembler directives are the instructions provided to the assembler not to the processor as the processor has nothing to do with these instructions these instructions are also known as pseudo instructions or pseudo operational code that is op code an assembler supports directives to define data to organize segments to control procedure to define macros so assembler directives show the beginning and end of a program provided to the assembler used to provide storage locations to data used to give values to variables define the start and end of different segments procedures or macros etc of a program coming to the first assembler directive db stands for define byte this db directive is used to declare a byte type variable or to store a byte in memory location for example cost db 50h 28h 39h so this declares an array of 3 bytes named as cost and initialize them with the values 50h 28h and 39h and one more example title db a b c d e f so here it declares an array of 6 bytes and initialize with ascii codes for each letter temp db 100 dup this sets 100 bytes of storage in memory and give it the same uh, the name as temp but leave the 100 bytes uninitialized program instructions will load values into these locations coming to second assembler directive dw stands for define word the dw directive is used to define a variable of type word or to reserve storage location of type word in memory for example number dw 1234h this declares a variable of type word and named it as number this variable is initialized with the value 1234h when it is loaded into memory to run number num1 dw1234h 4567h 89abh this declares an array of three words and initialized with specified values as 1234h 4567h and 89abh one more example store dw100 dup of 0 it reserves an array of 100 words of memory and initialize all words with 0000 and array is named as store coming to dq stands for define quad word the dq directive is used to direct the assembler to reserve four words of memory to a variable and may initialize with values another one dt stands for define 10 bytes the dt directive is used to direct the assembler to reserve 10 bytes of memory and may initialize with values assume the assume directive is used to direct the assembler the names of the logical segments to be assumed for different segments used in the program example assume cs for code assume ds for data another assembler directive end it stands for the end of the program end directive is placed after the last statement of a program to tell the assembler that this is the end of the program module the assembler will ignore any statements after an end directive carriage return is required after the end directive end p it is standing for end of procedure in assembly language programming the subroutines are called as procedures the procedure may usually assigned with a name or label 
the end p directive indicates the end of the procedure so here we can start we can see procedure start we have certain ports for this one and it will be ended with end p which stands for the end of procedure end s so it is end of segment end s directive to indicate the end of the logical segment the logical segments are assigned with the names using assume directive so here it is the piece of code which tells about the usage of end s so here we have data segment we have some certain codes now data and here that means the segment which is stands for the data segment in here then assume is the assembler directive and cs for code ds for data now here we have a code and the segment starts here and the code segments in here now if this is the assembly program then this entire program will be ended with end so after this end if any instruction is provided that will be ignored that will not be considered for the execution even align on even memory address the even directive updates the location counter to the next even address if the current location counter contents are not even and assign the following routine or variable or constant to that address so here it is uh, the piece with uh, piece of figure which shows the usage of the even assembler directive equate eq the directive eq is used to assign a label with a value or a symbol the use of this directive is just to reduce the reoccurrence of the numerical values or constants in a program code example label eq 6000h addition eq add external external and public the directive external informs the assembler that the names procedures and labels declared after this directive have already been defined in some other assembly language modules while in other module where the names procedures and labels actually appear they must be declared public directive coming to the next one group stands for group the related segments the directive group directive is used to form the logical groups of segments with similar purpose or type label the label directive is used to assign a name to the current content of the location counter when the assembly process starts the assembler initializes a location counter to keep track of memory locations assigned to the program length stands for byte length of a label this directive is used to refer to the length of a data array or a string example move ax comma length array local the labels variable and constants or procedures declared local in a module are to be used only by that particular module only name stands for logical name of a module the name directive is used to assign a name to an assembly language program module next one is offset offset of a label when the assembler come across the offset operative along with a label it first computes the 16 bit displacement of the particular label and replaces the string offset label by the computed displacement org stands for origin the org directive directs the assembler to start the memory allotment for the particular segment block or code from the declared address in the org statement if org statement is not given anything then it starts from 0000h next one is proc stands for procedure the proc directive marks the start of a named procedure in the statement also the types near or far specify the type of procedure next one is ptr stands for pointer the pointer operator is used to declare the type of label variable or memory operand the operator ptr is prefixed by either byte or word if the prefix is byte then the particular label variable or memory operand is treated as an 8 bit quantity while if the word is prefix then it is treated as 16 bit quantity next one is public the public directive is used along the extern directive 
this informs the assembler that the labels variables constants or procedures declared public may be accessed by other assembly modules to form their ports but while using public declared labels variables constants or procedures the user must declare them as external using the extend directory next one is seg stands for segment of a label the seg operator is used to decide the segment address of the label variable or a procedure and substitutes the segment base address in the place of seg label segment stands for logical segment the segment directive marks the starting of a logical segment the started segment is also assigned with a name that is label by this statement short the short operator is used to tell the assembler that only a one byte displacement is needed to code a jump instruction in the program the destination must in the range of minus 128 bytes to 127 bytes from the address of the instruction after the jump example jmp short nearby label type the type operator tells the assembler to determine the type of a specified variable the assembler actually determines the number of bytes in the type of the variable for a byte type variable the assembler will give a value of 1 for a word type variable the assembler will give a value of 2 and for a double word type variable it will give a value of 4 global declare symbols as public or extra the global directive can be used in place of a public directive or in place of an extern directive for a name or a symbol defined in the current assembly module the global directive is used to make the symbol available to other modules example global divisor this statement makes the variable divisor public so that it can be accessed from other assembly modules for pointer far ptr this directive indicates the assembler that the label for pointer is not available within the same segment and the address of the label is of 32 bits offset followed by 2 bytes segment address near pointer this directive indicates the assembler that the label near pointer is available within the same segment and needs only 16 bit offset to address it so here a sample of assembly a program is shown to add two 16 bit bcd numbers operands and the result should be in the data segment so this particular program using the various assembler directives and their usage so here we have a data segment and here we have a variable a and it was used with the define word for storing the word data 1 2 3 4 and we have a variable b and associated with the assembly directory dw and that is 5140h uh, this value is assigned to the variable b and sum is a variable and it is assigned with the assembly directory dw and it will be uh, you know left over uninitialized now we have carry and it is defined byte is the assembly directory and the carry is assigned to the value 00h now this is the data segment that segment is ended here so data end segment now code segment assume is the assembler directive cs for code ds for data now we have uh, the sample code right so here we have certain uh, labels and we have uh, writing uh, ending the uh, code and also we are ending the segment we are ending the code segment and we are ending entire program by using end procedure hope you like this video please do like comment share and subscribe my channel for more technical content thanks for watching